Hello everyone, welcome again to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about editing photos on iPhone, but specifically editing photos all at once or batch editing, multiple photos at the same time. How do you perform changes on multiple pictures? Basically, there are going to be three things I'm going to explain in this video. The first one is what you can do with the multiple select tool inside of the photos app. So when you open up the photos, you get inside in here, you can see, for example, this is a picture or a random one. So you can see at the top, we have the select button. When you click on the select, I can select many photos at the same time. So for example, I select all of these pictures. Now, what I can do with these selected images? Well, at the bottom next to the trash can. So of course I have the option to share them as well as to delete them. But the, the option next to the trash can is the more options. So when I click on that, you can see that using this feature, the multiple select, I can adjust location for these things. I can adjust the date and time, revert them back to original and add them to album. Besides that only like copying, hiding, duplicating, this is not really editing, it's just managing photos. So in case you're looking for one of these options, you have to select them and click on the more options. But I believe that you don't want to do it specifically this way. I suppose that you want to perform some edits in terms of colors and some things like that. Basically, this all works as well. So the way that it works is not by selecting multiple photos and performing edits on them, but just using one image as a sample. So for example, this one like this, so I'm going to click on edit and I will, let's say, bump up the exposure to max so you can see the difference as well as the highlights. It looks completely off, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to hit the done. I'm done with this image. And let's say that I want every picture to look like this. In this case, I'm going to click on the more options, which is now at the top of the screen on the top right corner like that. And there are another different uh, things. I can revert it back to original, adjust in, and, uh, the date and time as we have seen. But above that, uh, there is the copy edits. So make sure to click on copy edits. Now come back to the original set of photos. Now select the, those which you want to apply these changes on. So I'm going to apply it to these photos and I'm going to click on more options and I will paste edits. You can see paste edits is right here. So when I paste edits, you can see all of the photos become overexposed just because I pasted the actual settings from that photo. So this is what these photos look like now. These are just the edits. Of course, the photo doesn't look good, but I just wanted to show you and make sure this, that you see the difference. So that's why I've chosen these settings, but that's how you can bulk edit photos or edit them all at once inside of the iPhone. That was the second way how you can go about that. But before we move over to the uh, third version, I want to show you something which I've been working on and it's actually an educational platform. It's called Fox Tech. The link is going to be down below in the description. You can see inside of this platform, you're going to find a community. So other people are learning as well. You can see another in-depth guides are finished. So when you go to the classroom section, you're going to find a video editing course, which you can watch for free as well as all apps explained section, which it's going to contain all of the apps explained one by one as I add them, multiple of them. Of course, it just takes time. So I'm, I'm uploading content all the time. So make sure to join and let's continue with the video right now. Okay. And the third way how you can do it is with some kind of video editor or photo editor in our case. Well, if you look it up on Google, it, you will be recommended apps like be funky. So be funky is supposed to be the batch photo editor for multiple photos at once on iPhone, but on iPhone, I just cannot seem to get it to work. It has an app for the Mac where it's supposed to work, but not really on the iPhone. Instead, what I like to use is what uh, the app Lightroom. Of course, Lightroom is a very professional video or photo editor. And you can, for example, upload a picture like this. You can perform all of the changes as much as you like, perform basically anything that you want. But once you're done, in case you want to up apply these edits to multiple different photos, what you have to do is to go in here, click on the more options in the upper right corner. And I want you to create a preset. So you can see create a preset is right there. So all of the things which I adjusted of the light color effects, basically everything, it's going to be saved and I'm going to name the preset. Let's say it's just going to be preset like this. So I've just added that. And now if I want to make other pictures look similar to this one, I can just select it like this and paste this preset, which I have saved. So I will again go to these, this section. So 
you can see there are different things. So I can again create a preset, but in case I want to apply it, all I have to do is to go to this uh, section right here where I go to the presets and click on yours. So you can see user preset. This is the one which I have created and the photo is automatically going to take all the effects from that specific image. So that's very useful. That's how you can bulk edit pictures on iPhone using either third party apps or built in a photos app. So I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future tutorials and videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later in the next one.